Hey everybody, Nova Polit here, bringing you full round coverage of the Advanced Women at the 2021 Midwest Amateur Championships presented by Dynamic Discs. Let's meet the players. First up is Tina Beach, throws left and brings big energy to the card. Always great. Next up, Anna Hare showing us the horns. The 2018 PDGA Am World's Edge Skillshot Champion. Moving on to Steph Olison, rated 847, but don't let that fool you, she'll pop off and throw an almost 900 rated round at least once a tournament, including an 873 last weekend. Next up, Allie Smith comes to us from Ultimate and has a wicked forehand, and at Heritage Park she beat my pants last month. Also up is Amanda Wing, who also comes to the sport from the game of Ultimate, and she bags oversized discs like a Nineveh Condor, and also a Zephyr. Let's move on, here's hole one. Anna Hare testing out the wind on this first tee pad. 363 feet, you can see it's straight down the tunnel, a little bit to the right. Next up. Is Amanda Wing catching a low branch. Third up, Steph Olison. And if that stays up, that's going to be good. It does stay up, and it is good. Fourth up, Ali Smith. Dominant forehand player gets really low and gives it quite a whip. Big Woo! skip brings it back to the center of the fairway. Rounding out our group today, Tina Beach. Left handed going backhand. And that needs to get back. And with the help of a tree, it does. Moving up the fairway. Amanda Wing doesn't quite get her up shot over to the right, and it'll stay off to the left. I'm saying names a lot so that you can learn the names of these players. Here's Tina Beach again on the up shot. Big Anheuser rides right in there. And Hare takes a practice throw and releases right at the basket. That's going to settle down just outside the circle. Here's Amanda Wing on her third. Floating one up there for the tap-in. Steph Olison after her big crush. Gives that a half go, puts it in the circle. And here's the result of Ali Smith's drive. She digs deep and puts that up shot into circle one as well. Good run for Anna Hare there, draws metal, but not quite. Steph Olison lining up from inside the circle. All basket, no chains. There's Amanda Wing. Cleaning up the bogey, show and balance. Remember, inside the circle, both feet stay behind the mini. Allie Smith sneaks that one in, doesn't use any chains. Of course, these are Mach 3 baskets, so it might be a good idea not to use the chains. Wyandotte County Park, where the players are playing today, is one of the few courses remaining in Kansas City that is still equipped with Mach 3s. Coming along to hole two. 393 feet down this tunnel. Or you can just go outside the left side of the tunnel like Ali has done here and come back at the end. There's a wide open fairway to the left if the players want to stay away from the trees. 
Anna's force over flex catches a tree and kicks pretty far to the right. And DeWing gets a little bit of a late release there. Leaves it in the middle of the fairway though. She should be able to get up and down. Steph Olison just hauls off and gets a rip on this one and just sends it straight up the middle. And Tina Beach with a plasma servo on the overturned line puts it out to the left for an easy upshot. That's a better upshot from Anna Hare. That should putt. I am pleased. Anna Hare is pleased. There's Tina from out in the grass to the left of the fairway. Just has to beat one tree. And then pops down in the circle. Wing's upshot comes up a little short, leaving her in circle two. She'll just lay up for the drop in. You might be able to hear it, and you can definitely see it in the flag. There is a bit of a breeze blowing today. It's going to be a factor on several of the holes on this wide open park course. Oh, and Steph has done dirty by the Mach 3 basket. Boo, Mach 3, boo. Tina finds the heart of the chains, and the basket accepts the disc. Allie sneaks one in using just the bottom of the chains. And Anna puts that one right into the heart on the right, which is the sweet spot on a Mach 3. Looks like the first hole jitters are behind our players. Moving on to hole three, made famous by Paul McBeth at the 20... 19 Kansas City wide open because he went over the top of everything on a ridiculous Anheuser Force over for a drop in eagle. This is a par four. Yeah. See how our players do on this hole today. Nice. Out of her hand, Anna is not happy with this early release Anheuser flex, but it finds the line and slaloms directly between those two trees perfectly. So, bad throw, good result. And Steph throws low and flat, a little bit of flex, and gets great distance through the tunnel. This is a, almost a 500 foot hole, so Tina gets an accurate reading with her rangefinder, borrowed from Allie's caddy. Wow. Pretty throw, Tina. And rocks that up Thank shot. Amanda's up shot is a little short. That'll be out in circle two. And here's Allie's up, towering high as her forehand. And just posterizes the green. There's Steph's second flexing around the guardian tree and right into circle one. Anna throws the big hyzer, looking to beat that tree too. And it's just a little downhill of the basket. Tina sizes up a long birdie putt from just outside circle one with a wind coming from left to right, which is not great for a left-handed putter. Oh, but that's not a problem. Let's wind that back and take another look with a red hot tip top replay the first of the day. Heart of the chains on the Mach 3. Running in that birdie. Outstanding. Oh. Yeah. Nice three. Great 
Okay, everyone cleans up successfully. We move on to hole four, 375 foot, par four, because there is a crazy yeah, dog leg. Yeah, yeah. Step one is to do exactly what Allie did here and nice. throw about a 325 foot forehand up and over that ridge. Then there'll be a dog leg to the right through this tree line through about a 10 yeah. foot gap to a basket yeah. on a hillside. Tina's left-handed backhand is also perfect and gets her into position. Really the only danger on this hole on the drive is getting too far to the right, which makes it hard to get around the dog leg. The goal is really just to blast maximum distance out over this ridge and get a good look through the dog leg window for the second throw. Anna's comes up a little short, that could be tricky. Yes, ma'am. It's Amanda. Flexes a G-Star Sidewinder and gets a little low. Anna's upshot does not quite get her into position. Here's Steph eyeballing the gap. The basket is just to the right. Oh, and catches the last tree. Amanda goes in early and doesn't get to the gap. Anna's going to look to get to the gap here and does the smart golf play and lays up right to the center. She'll have an easy look up to the basket from there. After Allie's forehand smash, she's got this forehand up into circle one, looking at a birdie. Tina sizes up the backhand and gets it just to the right and is in this deep rough. Go to the reverse angle. There's Anna Harris upshot. Steph Olison pitching out of the shrubbery. And there is a disc golfer in here. Looks like that's Amanda Wing in deep. And not quite all the way out. So there's Amanda again, I believe. And up under the basket. Tina is also in there and has a little bit of a window out for this lefty flick. Needed a little more height. It's going to be down the hill from the basket just a little bit, leaving this edge of the circle butt. Oh, and a weak side hit on a Mach 3 spits right through. Boo, Mach 3. Have I mentioned that yet? That is unfortunate. Allie's going to have to clean up a par after having a great birdie opportunity. Something these players might be factoring in is that ordinarily there is tremendous rollaway potential on this hole and a couple of other holes on the course, but the summer has been so wet that the grass is very lush and thick and rollaways aren't so much of an issue right now. Hole 5, 351, across an OB road, up and over this ridge, and over to the tree on the left. Step one, get safely across the road on a big crush, and ideally, get to the top of the ridge, as Ali just did, and as Tina is doing as well. Next up, Steph at plus two. Gives it a rip, it's a little turned over. That's gonna have to work. And it works back to the top of the ridge. She should be able to see the basket from there. Next up, Anna Hare, plus three through four. Lining up a driver. Oh, and that's turned over and low out of her hand. That's headed for the road. And that has no chance to come back at all. Rounding out our group, Amanda Wing at plus three through four. Low drive, she's not happy with it. It's safe across the road, but it runs out of gas at the base of the ridge. That's going to be a tricky upshot. 
Here's Anna throwing from her OB position blindly towards the basket. You can see just how tall that ridge is that Amanda has to throw over blindly to find the basket. Steph can see the basket and has a direct run at it. As well, Ellie and Tina. Ellie first with the forehand flick. That settles in nicely. Should be a stress-free par. Tina puts that a little bit to the left. I hope that tree is not in the way. It might be. And uh, gives that a half go, and it stays nicely under the basket. Anna's bold run to save a bogey just shoots past the basket. And here's Tina's Heiser catches an almost invisible ninja branch and is brought down short. And it makes the comebacker for double bogey. Tina and Amanda clean up their bogeys. And Steph and Allie will clean up their pars. Okay, let's go to hole six, 268, wide open hole. There's the basket, go get it. The basket is on the edge of a hillside and when the grass is thinner, say the early spring or the autumn or the winter, there's tremendous rollaway potential to the OB road long. Today, the grass is really grabby, so everyone can just go for it. And Steph gets the forward skip for a red hot tip top replay. Let's take another look at this drive in slow motion. Carrying the entire length of the ridge line, dropping in just a little bit before the basket, and then getting that forward bounce to nestle right under the chains. Third up, Tina Beach coming at this from the left-hand side. And that hyzers in nicely, settles out a little bit past the edge of circle one. Could be a tester putt. And Amanda's drive ah, strays a little bit to the left and catches the one tree that it is possible to hit on this hole. And here is Anna Hare giving that quite a yeet. And that's down in the circles. One or two, not sure. We'll see. Amanda looking to get up and down, throwing that oversized disc and floating it right into the circle. Tina from circle two. That's a good go. She should be able to clean up par. Oh, Allie. Doubtlessly wants that one back. That was a birdie opportunity gone bad. Oh, same for Anna. This is a must get birdie, y'all. Amanda cleans up her par, as does Tina. Steph dropping in her headbanger birdie. The only one of the group today. That strokes on the field. With that, Steph takes the box on hole seven. A 400 foot par three, woods on the right hand side. The basket is set all the way down at the end of the woods on the right in a pocket that has probably 20 trees in it. It's ridiculous. Really, the play on this hole is to shoot straight over the ridge and head for the green and bite off as much distance as you can to try to get a look in. And whatever you do, don't turn it over and head to the right. That might be in the trees, we'll see. Allie's got to look for her flick to put this into the green. And that looks like it skipped in there. Also a good hole to be a lefty. 
Tina is a little low. That's going to need to get up. And it looks like she'll have a putt. Could be obstructed. There are a lot of trees in there. Steph is a bit pinched on the right and just has to ante up to the entrance of the green. Amanda also opts to play to the mouth of the green. And Anna is just in the edge of the woods on the right and has to pitch out for position, which gives her a good look into the green. From here, she could take a run at it. This has got the height, it's got the line. And somehow it hits nothing and goes 30 or 40 feet past the basket and beyond a lot of trees. That's gonna be a rough comebacker, I'm afraid. Skip. Amanda's upshot is a little low and hits an erosion wall that's about 10 feet from the basket. Steph finds one of the trees. As you can see, there are a lot of trees on this green. Here's Tina. Oh, low commitment, just floats it to the right of the basket. Ellie comes in under this little footbridge. It's a dry gully has to get this putt here for the three. Oh, off the top. This is a deceptive green. Even if a player has a good look at the basket, just the number of trees can get in your head. I know this firsthand. I'm filming. Oh, I'm gonna stand here. And the closer players are cleaning up Anna is straight ahead of us, about another 35 feet. So everybody will get out of the way and Anna gives that a good go and this time catches a tree on the way out and has to drop in a double go. <laughs> Moving on to hole eight, 257 feet uphill, plays more like three, three and a quarter. Allie Smith fires the rare backhand up the hill. Looks like it's in circle two. Tina turns this over on a flex line. Ah, but it fights out early. And that's going to be w probably the edge of circle two off to the right. Amanda Wing with that nose up throwing down air bounce throw that she loves to do with that G-Star Roadrunner. Steph runs right at it. Gets through the gap and is up top and to the left. And Anna is looking to do some work here after being plus seven through seven and flexes that up the hill, probably 70 feet. Gives that a good half go. Taps the lock and settles in the chips. Tina with the long bid for two. Also settles under the basket for a tap in. Amanda's attempt comes up a little short. Steph, pin high on the left. Not a problem. Taps in the birdie, walk that in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Call that about 30 feet. Allie Smith knocks in her birdie, bringing her back to neg one for the round. Those scores at the bottom update after the hole. And the rest of our players will clean up their pars. And we can say something. So that's two birdies and three pars, giving Steph and Allie a little bit of breathing room from the rest of the field. Rounding out the front yeah. nine, there's hole nine, 405 Ooh. feet well, through this gap. Only danger is some either missing the gap or the low branches on the yeah. right. Tina's drive is a little yeah, high, headed for those branches. It's through the gap, but not as far as she would have liked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amanda gets that big air bounce action yeah, that she likes it. and sends it down the fairway. And Anna gets a flex line on this, first to the right, then back to the left for the full flight. 
There's Tina's second. Doesn't get it quite far enough to the left. Catches more branches on the right-hand side. Alley looking to get up and down here. There's a nice backstop behind the basket, so a player can really go, go, go for go. it. And she does. What a shot. You got that, right? <laughs> and that is right behind the basket. Outstanding. Steph shot gets a friendly kick into the circle at the very last moment. Tina's third puts her into the circle. Here's Amanda's upshot after her big drive. Little short should be in circle two. And Anna flexes this, gets a friendly branch off the top of the basket. And that settles down in circle one. Hopefully it didn't ricochet too far, we'll find out. No, Anna, it's fine. It didn't ricochet too far at all. Steph, looking at about a 80-footer, just lays that up into the circle. Amanda with the uphill putt. Not a bad half go. Settles in and kisses the pole. Allie Smith coming back for her par. Downhill putts are best putts. Of course, when you're five foot ten like she is, every putt is a downhill putt. Tina with a big putt for bogey. And Anna bringing it back after almost getting the throw in. Nice. Cleaning up a par. And Amanda dropping in the bogey. All right, that's the front nine at Wyandotte County Park here at the Midwest Amateur Championship presented by Dynamic Discs. After nine holes, Allie Smith is one under par. Um, Steph and Tina are three and uh, four over, respectively. And Amanda and Anna are not out of the chase just yet. There's still a lot of disc golf left to be played with the back nine plus two more rounds. Watch this channel and like and subscribe and be sure to come back for the back nine as well as the second and third rounds. I'll see you then.